Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and today we are going to review an Arch Linux derivative distribution called Antargos OS. Now I don't have to say much about Arch. I think you must be aware that Arch is a very popular, well-established and matured Linux distribution. It has been there for almost 14 years now and has traditionally been the most favored Linux distribution for developers or advanced users. On the other hand, Antargos is not very old distribution. In fact, it started in 2012. At that time, it was called Synarch OS, but it was later renamed as Antargos OS in 2013. Yet, it has gathered a lot of popularity and has been successful in making its own strong user base. So in today's video, we'll check out the reasons for its tremendous success and being an Arch derivative, we'll also check out how close it resembles to the Arch Linux distribution and more importantly, what more does it add to the already feature rich world of Arch. All right, so with that said, let's begin today's video. Now to appreciate Antargos, first let's talk a little about Arch Linux. As I said, Arch has always been labeled as a distribution for advanced user and rightly so. There are a number of reasons for that. And without going much into detail, two main reasons are first, it's a rolling release distro and not just any other rolling release distro. It works directly with the upstream. That means that you receive updates pretty much as soon as the developer of that software releases it. And that is the reason why Arch is called a bleeding edge distro. Second, Arch gives you the power to build your own system or packages through Arch build system. Now, one quick analogy that I can give you is that of buying a desktop computer. Now, if you want to buy a desktop computer, you have two options, either to buy it from a reputed vendor like Dell or HP. Now, in this case, you only get to choose your processor, the RAM, hard disk, and that's pretty much about it. The other option is to custom build your own desktop computer. Now here you get n number of options to choose. You get to choose your own PC cabinet, the number of fans that you want to have, the type of cooling that you want to give to your computer and so on. Now Arch gives you the same power, but that is in terms of software. But there are also few cons of Arch Linux. The top of the list is the installation procedure, which is anything but simple. And that is because first it's command line. And in my opinion, the biggest hurdle one faces when trying to move to Arch Linux. Now this initial hurdle makes many enthusiasts to give up on Arch because it's so tough. Even if you are good with computers or consider yourself a techie, but if you have never installed Arch before, you need to spend a lot of hours reading through and understanding the Arch Linux installation guide which by the way is pretty well documented. So what do you do if you want the advantages of Arch, but you do not wish to spend hours or sometimes days installing it? Antargos OS can be your best choice in this scenario. And let me tell you why. First, the installation is through Sinchi installer. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. This is a GUI installer. And second, it uses the same Arch repos. Unlike other Arch derivative like Manjaro, that has its own repository. So Antargos uses the same Arch repo. So you get all the bells and whistles of Arch without dealing with the complexity of installing it. All right, enough of theory. Let me do a live Antargos installation. And while it's installing, we can talk more about Antargos OS. Now to install Antargos, first we need to download the installation image. To download it, go to the downloads page on antargos.com and you have both 32-bit and 64-bit images. So just download any one of them. Um, I have already downloaded it. So let me go ahead and start the installation. All right, so I'm booting to the installation image of Antargos OS. Now to install, we need to first start the Antargos live. So press enter. All right, so now we are in the live environment. One important prerequisite of installing Antargos is that you need to have internet connectivity. Antargos requires internet connection to be installed. So do keep that in mind. Now to install Antargos, go to the Sinchi installer and here it is, just click on this. 
All right, so this is the GUI based Cinchi installer of Antigos. Now just click on install it. Now this installer initially had been a little unstable, but now it works just fine. And it's pretty easy to work with. And if you have ever installed any other popular Linux distro like Ubuntu or Debian, you will find yourself at home. So you get to choose the language. So it's going to be English and just click on this next arrow. And also I'm connected to the internet, which is a prerequisite. So just click on next. You choose your location. So I'm just going to choose English United Kingdom. All right, now you get the option to choose your default desktop environment. So the default desktop environment of Antigus OS is the GNOME desktop environment, but you also have the choices of installing Cinnamon, KDE, Mate, XFC, Openbox, or just the base system. So I'm going to go with the GNOME desktop environment and click on the next arrow. Now in this screen, you get to choose the features that you want to have pre-installed. So I'm going to choose Arch user repository. You can also choose your web browser if you want Firefox to be installed, LibreOffice Suite if you want. So you have several options, but I'm just going to go with the Arch user repository and click next. Next is the partition where you want to install Antigos. So I'm just going to choose erase disk and install Antigos and click next. Now, since I chose to erase the entire disk, it's giving a warning that it will overwrite everything on the disk. So that's fine. I'm just going to click on next. Now at the end, after you've selected all the options, it gives you an installation summary so that in case you have selected any wrong option, you can double check here. The options here are just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. Now another confirmation, just click on yes. Alright, so now it asks for your computer username and login credentials. So I'm just going to quickly fill that in. Alright, now let's save it. Alright, so as you saw, it was a pretty basic installation of a Linux distro. So essentially you choose the language, the desktop environment that you want to have and it has a pretty decent list of desktop environment that is available. And then you get to choose the features and the partition. And that's about it. So it cannot get any easier than this. Now, while it's installing, let's cover the other important facts about Antigos OS. All right, so Antigos OS had its initial release on 7th May 2012. At that time, it was called Synarch OS and used to ship with Cinnamon as the default desktop environment. But later on in 23rd of April 2013, it was renamed as Antigos OS. Now, Antigos is a Galician word, which means ancestor. Now, the project developer and founder is Alexandre Filguera. And very, very importantly, is the repository that Antigos uses. Now, Antigos, apart from its own repository, uses the Arch repository. Now the dissimilarity between Antigos and Arch is first, the installer is GUI in Antigos. Second, you have the Numix icon set and Numix Frost desktop theme that comes pre-installed with the default installation of Antigos. You have the LightDM greeter screen that we'll just see once the installation is over. So it does not strictly adhere to the R philosophy of KISS or keep it simple stupid. But that's okay. I'm sure there are many people who doesn't mind few software pre-installed with the default installation. All right, now the installation is complete. It took me roughly about 1 hour and 15 minutes. However, the installation time depends on the speed of your internet. So in your case, it could take a little less time or more time depending on the speed of your internet. All right, now let's click on yes to restart the system. All right, now we are at the beautiful LightDM greeter screen, which is actually quite beautiful and looks very good. You can also choose the background image by clicking the button at the top right hand side of the screen. Here you have various different background images that you can choose from. Let me close this. And now let me log into the OS. All right, first let me quickly change the resolution of the screen.
All right, so this is the Antragos OS running GNOME 3.18. And the icons that you see here are the Numix icon set. Let me quickly go to the settings and show you the system information. Let's go to details. All right, as you can see, it's running GNOME 3.18.2 and I am on the 32-bit version of Antragos Linux. All right, now to install a new package or a software on your computer, all you have to do is go to the package manager, add or remove programs. And here in the search box, you need to enter the name of the package that you want to install. And if we go to the repository, you can see that apart from the Antragos repository, we also have all the Arch repository and hence all the packages for the Arch Linux can be installed on Antragos OS. And since it's a rolling release distro, you get updates very often. Now you can actually specify the time when the operating system should check for the updates by clicking on this button and going to preferences. Let me type in my password here. And as you can see here, it is set to six hours but you can check the frequency of update as per your choice. Now that's pretty much all that I wanted to show you. Apart from this, it's a regular Linux distribution with GNOME 3.18 as a desktop environment. In case you do not want Antragos OS and want to install plain Arch Linux, there's a forum where steps to convert Antragos into plain Arch is mentioned, which is basically by removing all the Antragos software packages and by deleting the Antragos repository from your sources file. You can check that as well. I will post the link of the website in the description of this video. Now, as far as the benchmarking of Antragos OS is concerned, the people at Foronix has done the benchmarking and compared it with other operating systems like Fedora and OS X El Capitan. Antragos OS actually stood pretty well to these tests. I'll post the link of the website where you can check all the results of these tests, but I'm not sure how much of that corresponds to the performance in the real world. Anyways, that was Antragos OS for you. Antragos is a great Arch Linux derivative operating system for starters or for beginners who do not want to go through the trouble of reading through and understanding the Arch installation and someone who wants an up and running Arch system in a limited period of time. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in the comment box. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.